Swimming is a fun aerobic exercise that people of all ages and abilities can participate in. Whether a swimmer is competing for an Olympic trial cut or just wading around in the shallow end, a swim cap can protect their hair from damaging chemicals and help them move faster through the water. Today I will be showing you different ways to put a swim cap on. Swim caps do more than just keep hair dry and protected from chemicals. They help swimmers move faster in the water and stay more focused while swimming. Putting a swim cap on while in the water helps to compress a swimmer's hair and ears towards their head, as shown in this picture of Michael Phelps. Shelley Frost, in her article titled, Why Do Swimmers Wear Caps?, from October 2015, states that, quote, The snug fit of the swim cap keeps your hair pressed down and covered to reduce the amount of resistance as you move through the water, end quote. If a cap is put on correctly, it will successfully tuck all the swimmer's hair in one place, prevent drag, and create a smooth surface over which water can flow. There are a few materials required to put on a swim cap. You need a swim cap and a hair tie, or two, depending on how long your hair is. It is also possible that a partner is needed if you cannot put the cap on yourself. According to the Swim Cap Guides article, The Benefits of Swim Caps, published in May 2014, there are three main types of swim caps, latex, silicone, or lycra. Roxanne Grafour, a member of the Purdue women's swim team, recently said this March that she prefers silicone caps over the other kinds because they tend to stretch farther and cover all of her curly hair. It is a personal preference which kind of cap a swimmer uses and all work the same throughout the process. First, pull your hair back with a hair tie so that it is out of your face. Most swimmers will either pull their hair into a ponytail, a bun flat against their head, or a bun at the top of their head. Next, prepare your swim cap to put on by deciding if you are capable of putting it on yourself or if you need help from someone else. If you are doing it by yourself, place your hands on the back end of the cap with the front end resting on your forehead. Then pull it over your head and stretch it out as far as you need to to get it over all of your hair and your head. Align it to where it needs to be on your head and adjust accordingly. Sometimes putting on a cap can be difficult. It is easiest to put a swim cap on by yourself when your head is dry, so to avoid a problem with putting it on, keep your skin from getting wet. If you need assistance from a partner, they should hold the back end of the cap, and you should hold the front of the cap on your forehead. Then, holding your end still, have your helper place it over your head and stretch it out as far as they need to get it over all of your hair and your head. Align it to where it needs to be on your head and adjust accordingly. Before you can get in the water, there are a few things a swimmer should remember about their swim cap. It is important that you tuck all of your hair into the cap so that there is no drag while you are swimming. Also, you don't want to overstretch the cap because it could break. Make sure the cap is correctly adjusted, otherwise it could fall off your head while you're swimming. Once your cap is on, put your goggles on and get ready to swim. In conclusion, swim caps can help a swimmer move faster through the water. It is important to have the right materials, position the cap correctly on your head, carefully stretch the cap so it covers all of your hair, ask for help if needed, and adjust the cap so that it fits correctly. By wearing a swim cap, a swimmer is one step closer to becoming the next Michael Phelps.